I found the best piece of Chanel that I can find and I tell you the reason why because there are different type of stitching on this piece so it must have uh, better uh, craftsmanship uh, from uh, from this piece and also it has a quilted uh, signature piece inside so I want to know what's inside this puffiness okay the leather feels very good very supple has texture this this is calf leather this is calf leather um, the best leather that I love from Chanel are lambskins and to be honest um, Chanel I think they have the best quality among all brand even I think they use better uh, pieces of leather than, than, than Hermes. So let's see what's under the uh, diamond. Okay, so we have our lining, which is very, very, very good quality. Uh, and we have a, another piece of lining that you cannot see. Yep, we have a thin layer of foam that gives it softness. So uh, people, you guys need to know, um, the thickness of leather are only about one milliliter or two milliliter thick, like a three milliliter or four milliliter of um, a, a entire single piece of leather. It's not gonna feel as soft as, as the foam it gave it, it gives you. So what I'm assuming is Chanel used a top piece of leather and and they cut it open. It gives you this soft hand touch feeling. So we have one layer the leather, a top layer of the foam sticks to the foam the third layer the foam yeah so four four layers and then the yellow part is is the glue <sighs> very good quality leather nevertheless the the thickness they choose to use let's uh, do the front oh uh, we have leather and this is recycled cardboard yeah it's recycled cardboard this is a more stiff cardboard paper Let's count how many uh, pieces, how many layers are in a wallet. So the leather, and then this is, looks like cotton. And then this is uh, polyester layer. And then we have the cardboard, the stiff cardboard, and then the recycled piece of cardboard. So we have five layers. And then inside here, we have another layer of uh, cardboard. You can hear from, from the sound the zipper and uh, also use glue and the reason they use uh, um, some, some layers in between is because the leather may be too thin. So now I have brought a Miu Miu wallet and a Prada wallet and just to compare if they are the same inside. Let's see Miu Miu. The leather is uh, gold skin. We have a piece of plastic. Miu Miu use plastic more. It doesn't have foam, doesn't give you the, uh, the thickness or the suppleness of all, all of the leather. Here we have a bow tie, a metal part that's um, that's attached to this new logo outside. So we have one layer of leather, a uh, layer of plastic, and a hard layer of of uh, polyester on one single side of the flap. And in the middle, we have a piece of interior leather lining attached to a piece of polyester this green piece of of, of polyester is, is where you put the credit cards in and now let's move to Prada we have one piece two piece three piece same with Miu Miu um, by touching the leather Chanel uses extreme high quality of leather very th like very soft um, durable to use but compared to Louis Vuitton's uh, canvas, um, they are more durable to use. But for Miu Miu, Miu Miu is exception, uh, even though they belong to the same company, but Miu Miu, generally they use a lot better, better quality of leather compared to, compared to Prada. Even though it's not high quality of um, material they use inside a wallet, but Chanel definitely uh, gives you a lot more layers so you can feel soft. Uh, on, your, on, on your hand. This is the hologram sticker and it's an important uh, part to see when you, uh, when you authenticate a Chanel piece. Uh, nothing special, but when people are, uh, are trying to produce a counterfeit Chanel, 
they cannot uh, show, they cannot create a piece that shows the glitterness or the neatness of this piece of uh, paper.